how would you want your actions to be in the future? Mm, I mean, I want to try to have a positive impact on the world. I I say a, a lot like, um, like I want to leave a mark, okay. a, a good mark, you know. And I guess there's a lot of, you know, things that I'd ad- advocate for in like just like on social media or like whatever i try to bring awareness to issues that that i like or not that i like but like that i that i care for hey y'all it's jay from behind the scenes with jay today i'm recording live from the confluence media center in denver colorado Today, we have a special episode behind the scenes of Each One Teach One. In this podcast, we are going to be interviewing young artists that are participating in the Each One Teach One program. Today, I'm here with Max. (laughs) We're going to be learning a little bit more about him and his story and what he does as an artist. How are you doing, Max? I'm doing good. How about you? Um, I'm good. I'm good. That's good. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. To kick things off, Max... What's your favorite movie? Oh, I like movies. There's a lot of good ones. Um, I'd say, you ever heard of Inception? Mm-mm. Ooh, I like those confusing movies that are like, they get you, they get you thinking, yeah. you know? So Like cliffhangers? Not really. It's Well, I guess Inception does have a cliffhanger. Because it's like, the, the concept is like, they go into people's dreams. So like, they put them to sleep and then they're inside of the, in the, his dream. But then they go like a dream inside of a dream. So they're going super. It's like a consistent thing. Yeah. I, it's hard to explain because it's supposed to be confusing. Yeah. But I like that movie. It's pretty good. What about you? You like movies? Uh, Yeah, I like movies a lot. Um, I think my favorite movie. Hmm, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite movie. But like a movie that I like to watch is probably home it's not like a movie that people typically watch but it's one i like to watch the the cartoon with the the purple people yeah that one's tight i like that one that's pretty it's funny um, i like how they look they yeah. look weird but it's 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 a cool kind of weird yeah it's something like you gotta watch like it's not just like like it has a, um like more more to it than people think yeah you know what on on speaking of cartoons uh you know cars the Pixar yeah. movie where they're cars. Yeah. I like that one a lot. Yeah, because that's it's like a different type of movie. Like yeah, because cars just, don't really talk, so it's like. <laughs> but it's like they're cars and they drive, and right. that's cool. <laughs> right, and they're talking. <laughs> exactly. Um, who inspired your style? My style. Well, this one, I'm doing like a white and black kind of look. Um, I guess like, there's this photo shoot. Uh, I forgot who shot it. I can't believe I forgot who shot it. But uh, they they did a photo shoot with Playboy Cardi, and he's in like this all white kind of, and that, that's kind of that's what this fit is kind of referencing that a little bit. Yeah. But I get a lot of different inspirations for like how I dress and stuff. So like a lot of like uh, um, I guess how'd you explain it? Like punk kind of like a bunch of like that '90s grunge era. Yeah. Is like that. They have some some pretty fire fashion. Definitely, it's good to have different like uh, styles and stuff. Yeah, and I don't like doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, uh, which gets hard because I'm broke. <laughs> I, don't really? got, I don't got a lot of stuff in my closet. Um, I, tr- I try my best, y'all. <laughs> um, when did you start playing guitar? Like, uh, I started playing guitar a couple years back. I'd say back in like. 2022 like as covid was ending yeah because like trying to start new hobby and then and then it ended yeah everybody was was big on starting a new hobby yeah and then it ended but i stuck with it for a little bit and then uh i was trying to restring it one day and i get because i played an electric guitar yeah so restringing it was weird and i had to google it and whatever but then i guess i messed something up with the wiring and it just like didn't work again so uh, I haven't played since it broke, but I would I would love to get back into it. It was super fun. Okay, where do you see yourself in the future? Mm, hopefully, in like four years when I'm graduating or whatever, I'm doing doing music full time. Love making music, uh, you know, producing and all that. 
I gotta trying to hone in on the sound right now, kind of see what what works and what doesn't. But yeah, in four years, hopefully, I'm I'm living off of that. What type of like um, what type of artist would you want to be like, like not like uh like what you're doing like how you act like what type of like how would you want your actions to be in the future? Mm, I mean, I want to try to have a positive impact on the world. I I say a, a lot like um like I want to leave a mark, okay, a, a good mark, you know, and I guess there's a lot of you know, things that I'd ad- advocate for in, like, just, like, on social media or, like, whatever. I'd try to bring awareness to issues that that I like. Or yeah. not that I like, but, like, that I that I care for. Yeah. Like, basically, like, giving back, kind of? Yeah. Giving, yeah you could say giving back. Yeah. So, like, if you make it, like, big, what's one thing you would do, like, What's one thing you would do, like, because you know, like, how some artists, like, give back to the community or whatever? Yeah. Like, what's one thing you would do, personally? Well, I think this program is dope, and the people who are running it are dope, so I'd probably, I'd probably bring awareness to them, yeah. you know? When I'm a millionaire, big old donation, just be like, hey, go check them out, they're in Denver. Uh, another one is the Struggle Love Foundation. They do a, lot, a, bunch, of, a bunch of cool stuff Okay. where uh, they help bring... They help out the community a lot. They have like a bunch of like uh, giveaways of like like stuff. I guess like they do like groceries. Like they have like donation centers. Yeah, like or whatever. they give. Yeah, they a give. Lot. Yeah. Um. Since I've been in Denver, I've noticed that a lot. Like um, like a lot of places have like areas where they can you can donate like clothes or food or like they like lately like. Anywhere I've been, like, people want to just give to people. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. They just want to give away. Like, they want to help people in the community a lot. Yeah, and that's what I love about Colorado. They're yeah. so they're very, very tight like that, yeah. like, always trying to give. And also, I don't want to just bring attention to, like, the Denver or whatever. I'm trying to bring the whole it, Colorado. The whole, whole, Cause whole even, country. Because even, like, um, I went to a back-to-school drive in Aurora, and it was, like, like, even though, like, they didn't know me or nothing, they, like, made me feel, like, really welcomed. Right. So that's something I noticed about Colorado, that they're very welcoming to everyone. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's super close. Yeah. Everyone's trying to be a community. Like, like a that. real community. <laughs> yeah. Why did you sign up for this program? Uh, I signed up for this program to try to uh, get, like, more knowledge, I guess. Trying to Trying to learn. Trying to get my... Get bigger brain, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's good to have uh, knowledge. Yeah, like um, like with the with the t shirt making or whatever, and just like the the mindfulness. Like, I'm honestly sad I couldn't do all of it. Like, I yeah. I picked podcasting because I, you know, I I'd like to learn to edit videos or whatever. Kind of like if when I'm when I'm big and whatever, like. I have a little knowledge on how video making works. Yeah, it's always good to have a lot of knowledge. Yeah. Um, who do you think would benefit from each one teach one? I think everyone could benefit from each one teach one. Yeah, I definitely. I think it's really good for like younger kids, like like eleven, twelve year olds, to like get into this because it can expose them to something they really don't know, and expose them to different things they may not know, like may not know about. Because I know even, when I was twelve, I was not worried about like yeah, yeah. like future things wise, and I wish I was. But then even like for older kids. If they already know like what they what they want to do, like up and coming creatives, yeah. uh, young young artists out there, they can come here, try to get more experience on whatever they're trying to do, and then you know it just benefit from that. Like yeah. it's all it's all getting more knowledge, whether you're uh, first coming into the program and like learning about it for the first time, or uh, or if you're you're having some experience, have some experience and just need to you know get in that get get that more knowledge yeah um i think each one teach one is really good for anyone to be honest like even if you're just wanting to get around people because like you could build a lot of relationships with each one teach one because you're doing so many different things in a day okay guys this is the end of this this is btsj 
Signing off. Thank you, Max, for being on my podcast. Yeah, no problem. I had a nice conversation with you. Yeah, for sure. Hey, follow me on Instagram at... Ooh, I don't want to say my at, actually. <laughs> Never mind. Don't follow me on Instagram. My at, my handle is corny. Thank you guys for watching. And this is BTSJ signing off. Stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs> Bye.